We want to improve the quality of lives. That means that we want to use technology to make life more pleasant, easier and more rewarding. In our company, we want to give all of us, the team, the staff, the opportunity to develop ourselves, to learn new things, to do greater things, and just not to fall into any kind of routine, but to do really interesting things where we can use our passion and our energies to the fullest. Basler was founded in 1987 by Norbert Basler and Stefan Berensen in the Technical Center of Lübeck. The two were engineering students at an institute of the Technical University of Klausthal, where they had student assistant jobs at one of the institutes, which was focusing on digital imaging processing. And there was this idea, hey, can we take this great technology that we have on our hands here and do something independent? And so they decided to try and to make it work. Basler is a manufacturer of components for digital image processing, or in more modern terms, for computer vision. What does that mean? In computer vision, digital cameras are connected to computers running software that automatically analyzes the image content provided by the cameras in order to enable devices or machines to make decisions. We manufacture the components that are needed, such as the cameras, the optics, the lighting technology, the image processing computers, and, of key importance, the software. To be fair, technological change is anything but easy to predict. But most importantly, it's the customers who decide how quickly a product that incorporates new technologies will be adopted. They determine the extent to which it will be adopted and the impact it will have. Just as markets can be created through technological change and innovations, markets can also disappear. And that, of course, can also be the end of a company. Basler has experienced both the positive and negative effects of technological change. With its advanced automated optical inspection, back at the time, Basler made the production of CDs and DVDs much more cost-efficient and faster, and thus experienced a significant economic upswing. But later, CDs and DVDs were replaced by other technologies, and today there's no such business anymore for Basler. Fortunately, Basler has always managed to adopt to new technologies, to derive new innovations from them, enter new markets and to become economically successful again. That is why we decided many years ago to work with innovations and technologies much, much more consciously and in a more structured way and to organize innovations much better. We are convinced that innovation will secure the future of our company. That is why we have a very broad portfolio of innovation activities. For example, we have a dedicated business unit for innovation. We are very active in the German SME sector in the area of open innovation and we have our own program for entrepreneurs where we use the Adobe Kickbox among other things. The innovation process at Basler is designed like a rocket, because the process is all about speed. It starts with the green phase, continues with the red phase and ends with the blue phase. The green phase of the kickbox is about getting employees inspired for new technologies and new ideas. In the red phase of the kickbox, the focus is on combining the technology view with the market perspective. In this phase, innovators continue to develop their ideas and discuss them with customers. In the blue phase of the kickboxing process, the goal is to develop the ideas quickly and effectively. At the end of the blue phase is the MMP, the minimum marketable product, which will be sold to customers and implemented by target users. To begin with, we integrated sustainability at the very top into our business strategy. Then we compiled our initial carbon footprint assessment in order to continually monitor and measure our progress in this issue. We have also adopted a more rigorous corporate policy on the supply chain, including the issue of conflict minerals, for example. 
and we are currently exploring ways and initiatives on the subject of circular economy. In this area, in particular, we rely on the innovation capacity that we have in our company. A sustainable industry needs, above all, intelligent machines. Machines that can manufacture large volumes of products fully automated and with high precision. Our products also help to make other processes and products cost-effective and affordable enough to be manufactured and widely sold in the market. One exciting field of application in the next few years is certainly e-mobility. One sector of e-mobility is the production of car batteries. Computer vision or image processing will be instrumental in making the production of these batteries more efficient and cheaper. Logistics is another sector. And to make logistics even more cost-effective and efficient, it's becoming increasingly automated. And a big part in all of that is computer vision. 